Hi, Grey One. I enjoyed reading your personal narrative writing from the last lesson. Today, I would like to talk about past tense. Past tense is used to talk about things that have already happened in the past. You use past tense to talk about events that happened yesterday, or two weeks ago, or things that happened thirty years ago. In order to change your sentence to past tense, you need to look for the verb or the action word in the sentence. Let's look at this sentence. Today I play with my friends. Hmm, which word is the verb? Ah, I know. Play is the verb because it is showing the action. After finding the verb, you need to add ed to the end of the verb, like this. Now you have changed your verb to past tense, so the past tense sentence is. Yesterday, I played with my friends. Let's try changing one more sentence to past tense together. The sentence is: Today we washed the dishes, which is the verb. If you said wash, you're correct. Do you remember what to do next? That's right. You need to add ed to the end of wash like this. So the past tense sentence is: Last night. We washed the dishes. For the next sentence, I would like you to try it on your own. The sentence is: Today they clean their room. What would the past tense sentence be? Are you ready? Do you have? Two weeks ago, they cleaned their room. Great job for trying it on your own. So now you know the rule for past tense. Which is add ed to the end of the verb. But there are some rule breakers. That means some of the verbs do not follow this rule. For example, the verb go. Today I go to the library. But when we change it to past tense, we say yesterday I went to the library. Another rule breaker is the verb run. Today we run around the field. Do you know what it becomes when we change it to past tense? That's right, it is changed to ran. Last week we ran around the field. There are many past tense rule breakers, and they don't follow any rules, so you just have to remember them. Since your personal narrative is a story about something that has happened to you in the past, you need to write it in past tense. So today we are going to check your writing and change it to past tense. This is part of my story from the last lesson. I am going to read it one sentence at a time and look for the verb. First, Dad, Phyllis, and I were watching TV in the living room. I know that the word "were" is the past tense verb, but I don't know how to spell it. Hold on, I remember I saw this word earlier. Let me find it. Oh, there it is. I'm going to fix the spelling by crossing it out and then write the correct spelling. Let me keep on reading. Mom, go to the kitchen to get some apples. I know that the verb is go. What is the past tense for go? Do you guys remember? Ah, right. It is went. So let me fix it. Today, you will read your entire story again and change the verbs to past tense like what I just did. Remember to put away your eraser or correction pen. Just cross out the words when you are fixing your writing. Good luck, and see you in the next lesson.